It's a lady in London here. Today I'm in Rye, which is down in Sussex, south of London. It's only about an hour by train, but it's an amazing, beautiful, historic place. I can't wait to take you around and show you my favorite places. It's easy to get to Rye from London by train. Trains depart from several stations in London, including high-speed trains from St. Pancras. You can change at Ashford International, and it takes just over an hour. One of the best things to do in Rye is take in the views from the top of the bell tower of St. Mary's Church. This historic building is beautiful inside, but it's also worth the climb up the steep ladders and steps and through the narrow passageways to get to the top and take in views all across the Sussex countryside and over to the English Channel. On the way up, you'll get to see the bells and different little exhibits and displays about the church and the history. Once at the top, it's worth going all the way around to see the views of the surrounding area. You'll spot everything from local landmarks to the orange rooftops and Camber Castle in the distance. The tower and its adjacent museum are also worth a visit when you're in Rye. The tower dates back to the 13th or 14th century, and it's an eye-catching landmark on the skyline. There's also a park and garden in front of it that's full of cannons that you can see good views of the countryside around Rye from. The tower and museum are full of exhibits on Rye's history and inhabitants. One of my favorite things to do in Rye is explore the streets. The cobbled streets here are full of charming buildings, heritage facades, and more. There's lots to see here, and the details are definitely worth stopping to admire. Church Square has some of the prettiest half-timbered facades in town. Watch Bell Street is a local favorite. It has beautiful historic facades and it's a great one to walk down. If you like shopping, there's plenty of it to be had in Rye. The high street is packed with charming shops and there's lots of antique stores down by the Strand. Rye is home to a confluence of rivers too and there's lots of waterfront scenery to be seen in the town. The most famous street in Rye is Mermaid Street. This charming number is absolutely beautiful to see, and it's lined with everything from haunted inns to pretty houses. The 14th century landscape was built to defend Rye against invading forces. Another of the best things to do in Rye is visit Lamb House. 
This National Trust property is an 18th century home that's been known over the years to attract writers. Famous writers like Henry James and E.F. Benson lived here. Lamb House is also known for its stunning walled garden, which is beautiful in the warmer months. If you tour the house, you can learn all about the famous writers who lived here and how they worked and entertained their guests. You'll even learn how King George I spent a night here in 1726. No trip to Rye would be complete without fish and chips, and Marino's Fish Bar is one of the best places to get it. Rye is home to some great pubs too. They're all steeped in history and connected to Rye's smuggling past. Some have beer gardens, others have outdoor tables or atmospheric interiors, and some even have rooms where you can stay overnight. Thanks for coming around Rye with me. I hope you had a good time seeing the town and I hope you get a chance to make it out here yourself someday. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy travels.